What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Matt Fier Career Mode series where last time we saw just how this offense plays without Jameis Winston. It's going to be a tough stretch without him, but we got to find some way to win some games while he is injured. So let's go. Let's hope things go better this time around. We had a chance to take that game last episode, but we had some tough third and short runs. We didn't throw the ball very well. It didn't play out the way you want in this situation where your running back can take over completely. So how are things going to play out today? There's number 43, Matt Pierre takes the field and number five is still at quarterback. So no roster move has been made. Malcolm Hollenbeck makes his second consecutive start and he's going to hand it to Matt Pierre. There we go, we got a few yards. Where you see the numbers on the day last episode, 100 yards on 27 carries isn't great. That was just pure determination to give him the football, but we struggled to be consistent. We're hoping that today we get more of that. Holland Beck throws it to the sideline and that's incomplete. I believe it's still four more games, this one and three others, that we're not going to see Jameis Winston. Third and seven now for Holland Beck. And he'll throw it downfield for Godwin. Good throw. Godwin down to the 30. And let's keep it on the ground here. Left side goes Matt, and we'll get five this time. I haven't posted the previous episode yet, so if you had a genius plan as to how to run this offense without Jameis Winston, I have yet to read it. There we go, first down, and Matt goes down at the 19-yard line. And again, I'm seeing some good blocking out of Mike Evans. Make the smart choice here, Holland Beck. Oh, you made the smart choice, you just executed it terribly. Let's try this one more time. Holland Beck, where are you going? Away from the rush, I see. And now missing Godwin. If you're going to extend the play, at least be good at it. I am very worried about what Holland Beck might do on this third and ten. But here we are. They'll send four. Holland Beck short. There's Godwin. We moved the chains. And now Godwin is shaken up. Come on. No more injuries. I like our fullback, Alate. I want him to lead for Matt Pierre. Corey Chapman checks in now at receiver. Good block by Alate and nice job OJ Howard leading Matt to the end zone for an untouched touchdown. That's how it's done right there. Maybe a bit more power running is what the doctor ordered here. Seven nothing Tampa Bay. Perfect, oh my goodness. It's second down and 10, and now trying to run the sweep, and Matt Pierre doesn't get much. Just his accuracy is nothing more than a dice roll. Here we go. Corey Chapman is still on the outside at receiver. Looking his way, the throw is on point. They're giving us a lot of different fronts, and in that front there with five on the line of scrimmage, we don't really have a chance to get anybody into the second level. It negates what we can do with the draw play, and that's one of my favorite ones. They keep going to this 3-3-5 look. I can't stand playing against it. There goes Hollenbeck. He's off to the races. Hollenbeck doesn't slide. He never learned how to. Toss right now. Alate leads. He got a block. And we get a couple. I want to do more strong eye, though. That was fun. We're on a counter now. And okay, no help from the offensive lineman. This is like their default nickel formation. Third down and nine. Hollenbeck. He's going to throw it outside for Howard, who is wrapped up by, is that Josh Norman? I guess I don't know this far into the future. But uh, they make the stop. I like it. We're going for it, even with Malcolm Hollenbeck at quarterback. Just what do we do here? Matt Pierre is going to go play some receiver right now. 
What to do, what to do. Pierre's going to go deep. So here's fourth and three. Holland Beck, oh, come on, throws the contested ball to Evans, and it's knocked away. I like to say that I came out in quarterback draw on that play, but I didn't stay with it. I didn't like the look they gave us. It wasn't a soft box. So I thought about it, but no, not yet. Here's first and ten. Still no Chris Godwin. That has me worried. Holland Beck, though, has me even more worried. He's sacked by Molds. E. Molds. That reminds me of Eric Molds. How many of you are old enough to remember Eric Molds for the Bills? They had some good receivers back in the day with, like, Peerless Price. Let's go to Pierre again, and there's just nothing there, or I'm overrunning things. Third down and 17 here for Holland Beck, and he throws a good ball to Chapman, but it's just to set up a punt. We have to make this a game of field position, and we take over with good field position. Hands off Matt Pierre. Good job blocking as Matt Pierre heads inside the 45-yard line with first down yardage. Ryan Pine is the new slot receiver on first down. Here's Matt Pierre up the middle. And that gets us uh, six. We're going to send a blitz now. Nice quick throw, Holland back. That was good. By the way, today I just want to see him throw for more than 135 yards or whatever he had last episode. I want to see how high that number can get, but I'm not giving him a ton of pass attempts unless we fall behind. Here's first down, and Holland back center. What? Not intercepted. I am shocked. If I see Hollenbeck attempt another comeback, I'm done with this series from the 28th. Pierre up the middle. There you go. Third down and four for Hollenbeck. Swings it out. Pierre is there, but another good tackle keeps him shy of the marker. Defense is doing everything they can right now. Major credit to them. Only two field goals in this first half. Despite them allowing the Saints to go and win last episode at the end, I feel like they played well in that game too. First down and 10. Holland Beck. There you go, wide open Mike Evans. How did he get so open? That was comical. They're not in their 3-3-5. Here we go. And we're gonna get some room now, Matt. How about that run? Second down, again quick to Matt Pierre, but they are not letting him get any yak. This team seems to fly to the football, and they have a couple names I recognize, one being Hassan Reddick. Not sure which number he is, but I know he has that kind of run and chase capability. There's a screen for about nine. Why don't we burn a timeout? Hollenbeck seems to really handle the dagger concepts pretty well, so I'm doing a lot of this. There are a number of underneath options on these plays, and the dig routes can often create a lot of separation. Nice job, Matt! That was fun. We'll help protect now. Hollenbeck against the cover two defense. He's going to drift outside and tuck it. First down, Hollenbeck. Please go out of bounds next time. Timeout. All right, can Hollenbeck come through? We don't have time to just like run the ball a couple times and see if we can throw it. Just we need to score now. Hollenbeck, end zone. It's a catch. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Did not see the number there, but that ball had some hang time. I'm not sure that was even necessary, but hey, it was inbounds in the end zone. Touchdown, Ryan Pine. We have a two-score lead right now with Malcolm Hollenbeck at quarterback. What's up? This is awesome. Hands off. And here goes Matt for three. On second down and six, Hollenbeck. Now, he's getting uh, confident as he sails a pass on Pine. You're not a superstar yet here, Malcolm. Settle down. Third down and six. And there you go. He finds O.J. Howard. 
So we're seeing some improved accuracy without the rain being a factor. And still there is no Chris Godwin in the game. Here's second down for Holland Beck at the sideline. Okay, Mike Evans, thank you for having sideline awareness. I'm guessing that's what the makes catches at the sideline trait does because I think in most cases the receiver would have just gone to the bench. Hits first down. And here goes Matt once again having much more success on the ground even if it's limited. I'll take four yards. It's a lot better than just getting stuff like last episode. Going to be a lot of carries again today for Matt Pierre. Second and six. Good pull, but that defensive line is no joke. They spent a lot of picks up there, so I'm not surprised. It's up to you, Holland Beck. Third down and four. It's your show as Howard does not move the chains. Let's go for it, right? This is perfect. Fourth and one. It's a draw for Hollenbeck. He converts. I got the look. We stuck with the plan. Let's add that one to the hurdles and laterals I enjoy so much. The quarterback draw. There goes Matt Pierre. Gain of 10. Cam Newton currently doing pretty well, it looks like, with the Buffalo Bills, I assume he plays for now. Here's Holland Beck. Where's this going? I'm trying to help him. Oh, Evans nearly caught it. Third and ten here for Holland Beck. He again throws it short. Howard ahead to the marker. And that's going to depend on the spot, which they rule short. Got it. 20-6. Can we really do this? Can we win a game with Malcolm Hollenbeck decisively? If we get comfortable in this game, there is one play I want to call for pure science as I just want to see how it executes in Madden because I haven't seen it in this formation. But it's first and 10 from inside our five and it's not a good start. Please, someone clear open a lane. There we go. All I have to do is be nice, and Matt Pierre is off to the races. We're on to the 15, the 10, 5, touchdown, 98-yard touchdown, the longest play in Matt Pierre's NFL career. How about that? How did we go 98 on this play when they know we're going to run? Well, look at the guards. They do a really good job one-on-one. -on -one. We have the center getting into the second level. Alate as well. Just a clear lane. And then a little messy right here. But OJ Howard helps us out. And then Matt Pierre able to get another milestone for his career. Longest play he may ever have. That breaks the game open a little bit for us. 27 to 6. And we take over now in Washington Territory. Or we can continue to run with Matt Pierre. I wonder if they put this play in the game incorrectly. Why would he roll out left and have Evans be the primary receiver on a post going the other way? That's a lot harder throw to make, but here we go. Off play action here. Holland back. Nice throw to Howard. He's getting it done today. Here's the play I wanted to run for science, by the way. It is a smoke screen. And it's bad. We're going to hand it off now on second down. And look at the tough running from Matt Pierre down to the 13. I want to say that is now eight rushing touchdowns on the season for Matt Pierre, which is really impressive at this stage of the season, being just game four. All right, Holland back. Here's your chance to shine. Third and five. Holland back. Short and Howard is out of bounds. We'll settle. Defense are doing an incredible job today. Taking over at our 15 up by 24 points. And we are going to run clock the rest of the way. Because we've actually created a very comfortable lead. Something I did not expect with Malcolm Holland back at quarterback. Even without Matt Pierre's 98-yard touchdown, this has still been really one-sided. 
as we convert. Let's give Tevin Coleman some snaps now. 30 to six, Tampa Bay. We should be on our way to victory. Tevin Coleman gets a couple. I forgot to put Matt Pierre back in. That's okay. Matt Pierre can rest while uh, they're gonna call the play that I called. It's play action with Hollenbeck going deep. And it's knocked away from Mike Evans. But that throw was accurate. Silver lining. Look, the Saints are losing by almost the same score as we're winning. This is fantastic. Tampa Bay is on the way to victory as we will just run out the remaining seconds on the clock. I am so proud of the Buccaneers today for how they played. That was dominant. We did it without Jameis Winston. We did it while not abandoning the pass game. We saw Hollenbeck actually make some plays today. Matt Pierre also was able to bounce back and, well, not really bounce back. He had 100 yards last game, but it was a much better game with the best or longest run of Matt Pierre's NFL career. I'll take it. Malcolm Hollenbeck was the best quarterback in this game, outplaying the rookie Connor Buck, who had two interceptions. Matt Pierre ran for 190 and two touchdowns, his most explosive day of the season. The receiving game wasn't all that exciting, but there were some good plays in there. And then our defense, they did a fantastic job. I do think that next episode will be much more challenging as we take on the Carolina Panthers who are undefeated and had that useless week four bye. So they're 3-0, we are 3-1, and, and their front seven worries me. They're stout there and that's going to make it tougher on Matt Pierre to run and to have the same success that we saw today. So, will Malcolm Hollenbeck be ready for that challenge? We'll find out. Matt Pierre now 526 yards on the season and 89 yards receiving. What's interesting here is this gives him an insane average per game of 131 yards, which if he were able to stick to that, he'd have over 2,000 yards in a season. So, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching everybody, that's it for this episode. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We continue to close in on 100,000 subscribers, we're almost a thousand away. I will see you all next time, have a great day everybody.